What's up guys, Nuts here, bringing you another super quick, no nonsense guide. This time teaching you how you can install shader packs for Minecraft on PC. Now firstly, a lot of these shader packs will require Optifine to work. Optifine is an optimization mod that helps Minecraft to run smoother and look better. I've actually created a video on how you can download and install that as well. I'll put the link in the description below for you. But uh, Alrighty, let's go. So firstly, you're going to need to actually download the shader pack itself. I personally use shaders called BSL shaders. They're very, very nice. A lot of people come on my stream and ask me how I get my game to look so realistic, why the game looks so nice, etc, etc, etc. But you can find all of the shader packs and all your mods here at curseforge.com. You're going to click on Minecraft. And you'll see some tabs at the top. This is a customization mod. So go to customization. And at the top, you'll actually see the BSL shaders, the ones that I was just talking about by Kept Tatsu. And they seem to be uh, some of the most, uh, most successful, most popular shaders. And uh, I can see why, because they're really, really cool. Like I said, they're the ones that I use. This is the official source of BSL shaders. Any other source may contain malicious content, so make sure you go to curseforge.com. I will put this link, this specific link, in the description below for you as well to make it nice and easy. All you're going to do then is click download. Now, once you've got your shader pack downloaded, you're going to have to put that into the shader packs folder, which lives in your .minecraft folder. Now, there's two very easy ways to find that folder. We see we got the BSL shaders downloaded, so we'll open that folder so that's ready to be moved into the right folder. Now, the first way to find the shader packs folder is, say, folder five times fast, <laughs> is by going into Minecraft itself. You go to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and in the bottom left, it will say Shaders Folder. You can click that, and then it'll open up your shader packs folder right there. The other way is if you go to your search bar or your run bar, you can type percentage sign app data app data app data percentage sign and enter that will open up your app data folder which is where your dot minecraft folder lives open that up you'll see the shader packs folder here as well now in some instances i've seen where this shader packs folder was not there automatically you can add this folder yourself if it's not there just making sure that it's spelt exactly as it is shader packs so now that we've got this folder open, we can get our BSL shaders and move them in here. You don't need to unzip it. You don't need to extract it. You don't need to do anything at all. It's really, really simple. Just move that folder as it is, as you've downloaded it, into the shader packs folder, and you will be good to go. So let me show you how it looks in Minecraft. So again, you go to your options, video settings, shaders, and now you can see the BSL shaders are chilling there. Click that, the game will do a quick reset to apply those shaders for you, and voila. Absolutely beautiful. What a difference, huh? The water looks so nice, the sky, the sun, the light rays off the sun, super, super cool. The, uh, the grass blows in the wind, the trees blow in the wind. All very, very nice features to make the game feel a lot more realistic. Now you can actually manipulate the shader packs generally as well. So if you go to options, you go to video settings, shaders in the bottom right, you'll see shader options and you can customize the shader pack to your liking. Now this one specifically, and I'll, I'll give a little bit of a, my personal preference on this. So this one specifically, I found a little too bright. It was beautiful, but a little too bright. So what I could did to remedy that is you go to shader options, like I just showed you color, lighting color, and then all these ones that are light, I turned these down in intensity by about 33%. So it was at 1.2, I turned it down to 0.8. If it was 1.4, I turned it down to say you know, 0.9, what have you. And maybe do that with the ambience as well. And that'll remove some of the brightness there, which I think, uh, I think looks a lot better. And uh, yeah, absolutely stunning. I cannot go back to playing vanilla Minecraft after playing with these shaders. It just looks super duper gross. Um, but that's it, guys. Super, super simple, super, super quick. Very, very, very nice and easy. I hope you enjoyed the super quick no-nonsense guide. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.